Hello and welcome to another session on this 5 minute series. So in our last session we understood what exactly is variant principle. We understood three type of variants, fiscal year variant, posting period variant and field status variant. In this session we will be understanding the chart of accounts. Now chart of account as you know is one of the most important functionality in SAP. What exactly is chart of account? Chart of account is nothing but the definition of the list of accounts. So the GL accounts that we use. If you want to do the accounting, see basically why we are using SAP FICO module. We are using SAP FICO so that we can generate our financial reports. What are the financial reports? So it is a balance sheet, profit and loss. If you go to the balance sheet, there will be two sections, liabilities and assets. If you go to profit and loss, again, there will be two sections, incomes and expenses. Now, if you want to generate the statements, definitely there has to be some postings to this particular GLs. So in asset liabilities, you may have n number of GLs in expenses and incomes. Also, you might be having n number of GLs. So if you want to create this GLs, first of all, you have to define your chart of account definition. So normally in the chart of account definition, we define two, three important things. First of all, what would be our maintenance language? And we also define what would be the length of our GL account number. The maximum length that SAP supports in the GL account is 10 characters. We cannot have more than 10 characters as a length of the GL account number. Now, there are basically three types of chart of accounts in SAP. One is the operating chart of account, which is mandatory. So each and every company code must be assigned to the operating chart of account. This operating chart of account is the one which is used for day to day postings. Now, in addition to the operating chart of accounts, we have two different uh, chart of accounts. One is country chart of account and one is group chart of account. Now, whether to use the country chart of account or group chart of account, it totally depends upon the business requirement. Let me give you one example. So normally, if I have 10 different company codes and if you are implementing SAP for this customer with 10 different company codes, it is always recommended that they should follow a same common operating chart of account. Why? Because it creates the uniformity, it helps us in the group reporting also. So it is always recommended that all the same company codes should follow the same corporate chart of account. But the problem is if they follow the same corporate chart of account, in that case, in some of the countries, there is a specific requirement that they need to generate their financial reports to the, uh, from the legal point of view in the different GL accounts. So in that particular case, in order to suffice the requirement of the corporate group, all the company codes will follow the common chart of account, but only for those company codes which have a specific requirement according to the country laws, they will follow additional chart of account as a country chart of account. Now there can be the reverse scenario also, where uh, although the corporate group wants that all the company codes should follow the common operating chart of account, but due to some reason, some company codes are reluctant. They said, no, we are going to follow our own operating chart of account. So let's assume out of 10 company codes, there are two company codes who are using one chart of account, another two company codes using some other chart of account. So now the problem is each company code is having their own chart of accounts, which is, so the problem is the uniformity is not there. It would be a problem if I want to generate the group level reports. In that particular case, what all these company codes can do as a corporate group is they can create the corporate chart of account. They can create a group chart of account. So group chart of account will be assigned to each and every company code. So although the day to day transactions can be done in different operating chart of accounts, but at the group level, they'll be able to generate their report at the group chart of account level. So this is what is the chart of account. This is how the chart of accounts are normally defined. So depending upon the customer requirements, we can have a single operating chart of account or we can have uh, up to three chart of accounts assigned to our company code. Normally this question is asked in the exam, how many chart of accounts you can assign to the company code? So the answer is one is mandatory, operating chart of account is mandatory, other two are optional depending upon the business requirements. Now in addition to the chart of account definition, we also need to define the account groups. So what exactly are account groups now? So as I told you, in order to generate your financial statements, you have different uh, categories of GLs. For example, first of all, the first category is liabilities and assets. Uh, even the, uh, from the profit and loss account, you have the incomes and expenses. Now within that also, if you want to differentiate 
within asset you want to differentiate fixed assets current assets again within current assets also if you want to differentiate into different groups in that particular case we create the different account groups and we define the number ranges to that particular account group just to give an example most of the time you will see when you are implementing sap for the customer uh, the number ranges normally let's assume the one is uh, the gl accounts which are starting with one let's say are assets the gl accounts which are starting with two they are for liability so looking at the gl account number itself you can identify what kind of gl this is so number one account group controls the number ranges and second important thing that account group controls is the field status uh, of the gl accounts which means whenever you are going to create a gl account depending upon which account group you select system will ask you to provide the input in some of the mandatory fields so you can control which field is mandatory you can control which field is optional so i hope uh, you understood what exactly is chart of account now in my next video we will be talking about the master data